<clears throat> but yeah, guys, let me skip to the good part. What does a merge membership look like? And again, you don't technically have to be a member. It, it'd be advisable for everybody to be a member. But we want to have services available as well as membership. So the services are things like airport pickup, um, accommodation assistance, um, trip planning, things to do here, language classes, all of that good stuff that you would need if you were planning on living here long term. Business help, all of those are services. Members have a few services built into their membership. So it's things like, okay, let me break it down. Hello everybody, I hope you're doing fine wherever you are today. So some good news to tell out for you is that, you know, some weeks ago people gave up to, people gave up on Tanzania and there was a couple of fleeing, the majority of African Americans are moving from Tanzania to back to the United States or going to other African countries uh, now that Tanzania was, wasn't favorable for them. And with these, we had African Americans who are now trying to reshape the name of Tanzania, especially the ones who decided to remain in Tanzania, especially the ones who never left Tanzania. Because uh, there was a time when everyone, every person was like, there is no story I left Tanzania, the list of, uh, there is no story I left Tanzania. And now like everyone was leaving Tanzania, you know. But um, we have African Americans who decided that they are not leaving Tanzania and they are going to find ways to fix the solution which is happening in Tanzania that includes providing the solutions um, initially there was a disconnect between Africans and African Americans and in Tanzania and some things to do with uh, cultural adaptation and understanding uh, Tanzanians culture now the, there is a group called Maj which African Americans especially pioneered by the person you know Mark meets Africa, probably I know you know him, and they are working so hard to welcome back um, African Americans who want to come back to Africa. And this is a good news, especially to people who wanted to um, come back to Africa before. So that being said, I want you to watch this video and then let's come back and say something beautiful because this uh, issue will bring beautiful flowers to African Americans or to African who still wants to go to Tanzania after everything which happened. So let's watch the video and then. What we are is a service to the diaspora. These hotels over here, all of these are hotels, guys. Parking. What we are is a service to the diaspora who would like to return home. So we are essentially your middleman or your advocate or whatever you need us for we're that so merge what it looks like so far is that a lot of us have come over here and we're not actually able to make it sometimes it's because we don't actually know what's over here we're not aware of some of the downfalls that we might face while we're over here some of the situations we might find ourselves in and this way leads to the beach y'all and sometimes we don't know what situations are waiting for us here and the issue with a lot of us is we came over and we didn't tell the next person how to be here so for years and years and years you see people actually going through the exact same struggles as the last people that came in instead of actually building and developing right so Rather than growing as a community, we're, we're, we're coming over here and growing in the wrong direction. Because again, we're not helping each other, we're not guiding each other, we're not leading each other. We don't have a service that says, hey, don't go to this shop over here because they overcharge. Or don't go to this guy, he scammed me last week. Or hey guys, watch out for this on this street, right? We don't have that, but everyone else seems to have it. Doesn't matter what everyone else is doing, but I will say they're doing better than us. So when we come over here, we're lost, we have no guidance. And I say all that to say Merge is actually trying to fill that role because we don't have people that are willing to guide other people at a reasonable rate and in a consistent way that is for us 
and for the progress of us. So merge is essentially going to be your, your, how do you say it? I don't want to say guard dog, but we will definitely be your guide. Um, we have something called merge membership. So merge membership um, is something you can find if you email us at tz at africanmerge.com. There's the beach, y'all. Y'all see the beach? You got people parked on the beach. But if you email us at tz at africanmerge.com, tz at africanmerge.com. Because for years we've been working to get together a team of people. You don't see them today because it's Sunday, but we're going to have a video with them in it. And we've been getting together a team of people who could guide us when we come here. So services all the way from before you even come. So we have merged services and we have merged membership. The membership is for our OGs, as they say. They're for the people who want to be a part of a community. And hold on, let me, let me not get ahead of myself. One second, y'all. So let me show you guys what I mean so you can get a better visual. Merge membership, so for every merge member, you get a card. This is mine. Mine is a little different than yours because I'm the boss. So this card has all your information on it. It tells you what community you belong to. So what we'd like to see is eventually, you know, everybody has a number on the back of their card. Um, and you can call that number if you need help over here. Because there's too many situations where you know, it would the the situation would go a lot easier if you just got on the phone with someone who spoke the language, and it goes beyond language. It's somebody that understands the culture, whether they're Tanzanian, whether they're diaspora, whether they're from somewhere else. But you don't have any real advocates for you over here, and so you get over here and you're kind of sort of stuck on your own. And then some people become an island, and they don't get any help, and so they end up leaving because. The pressure of being over here was too great and the pressure is essentially the fact that you're a, you're you're not a part of anything you see governments and businesses o over here and i think most of the world they deal with groups not individuals so merge wants to build a group a group of people that have a common interest here's another beach y'all all the way over there is a beach i believe when i come back up here i'll show you guys the beach in fact, let me turn this camera around so I can keep talking to you. But the membership idea came when I figured that we need a reason to actually come together. We can't just say, oh, I, I, I love and trust everyone in my community. No, the membership is to build that trust so that over time we can have standing with people like government. We can have people with uh, different skills coming over. We can be an organized unit that is designed for our people's growth. Um, that's what merge is to come together to come together with Tanzanians or whichever place we're going because merge is actually expanding into other countries as well uh, Hold on. Let me show y'all some I showed you guys the card, but I didn't show you the shirt So this is the the company shirt too. This is my uh, My boss shirt my manager shirt even though it's just a regular polo <laughs> I don't need a suit <laughs> Not right now but yeah, let me show you more of the beach. Again, this is right where we were and this is where we're going. Over here you can see the water, but the beach is right here. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, let me skip to the good part. What does a merge membership look like? And again, you don't technically have to be a member. It, it'd be advisable for everybody to be a member, but we want to have services available as well as membership. So the services are things like airport pickup, um, accommodation assistance, um, trip planning, things to do here, language classes, all of that good stuff that you would need if you were planning on living here long term. Business help, all of those are services. Members have a few services built into their membership. So it's things like, okay, let me break it down. I hope you guys can still hear me. You see there's some plots right here. 
I don't know how much they cost. I don't know if it's for sale, but I know there's a lot of development going on here. That's why we chose this area, because not only is it busy, maybe uh, if, if, if uh, it gets a little dark while we're on our walk, you guys will see how busy it gets at night. So what does it look like, the merge membership? First, you send us an email at tz at africanmerge.com, link in the description. We will get to know you and your unique situation. I'm reading off this other phone, y'all, because I have it written down, but I'm also walking, so I have to look at it while I'm uh, walking so I can uh, remember it. <laughs> we'll recommend you services and or a merge membership. Next, we get an idea of when you're coming over here. Right, this is all before you come over. You can contact us before you come over, even if you just have the idea of coming over. But yeah, the next step is if you take a merge membership or book a consultation, we will schedule a date. So some people want a consultation before they come. Um, at one point I did free consultations, but now I'm trying to offer the service as paid. You see the coconuts? But yeah, so that's also a merge service. We do cons consultancy and we have different people. It's not just me on the phone. You might talk to somebody who's, you know, elderly who can give you their opinion on Tanzania. And I mean, Tanzanians will even be on the phone answering some of you guys' consultations. So we'll even help you book your flight if you need us to. Because some people don't actually know how to do that while they're coming over here. Because some people have never traveled before. Look, this is a police station. There's a big hotel here. We'll look for your temporary accommodations and and we'll be looking for a more permanent accommodation, whether you want a house, an apartment, whether you want a studio, whether you want a flat, whether you want to live in the bush. We'll look for more permanent accommodations. That's a service we do as well. Accommodation help. In addition to we deal with your landlord, sometimes you can't get what you want out of the landlord because they don't take you seriously because you're not connected to a group and so if we're connected with you most things move easier as a group so we're your backup essentially yeah okay so we'll take your budget into account because that's what we do we know not everybody is coming over here with a million bucks um We'll give you a list of things you need before coming, so that way you don't have to go on somebody's consultation and ask, should I bring a toothbrush? Do they have it? We will tell you what you need before you come here, and that's a service that we offer, is we'll tell you what you need. Okay. And then we'll be waiting for you at the airport. So now... Again, we're still with you before you come. We're with you when you come. I'm reading off of that. These are nice hotels, y'all. All of these. And we're, we're on the same road. More development over here. So we will, you know, be waiting for you at the airport. So when you get there, you won't be alone. And it'll be a merge certified airport pickup person. It's not going to be some random person who... You don't know charging you $60 to go down the street. That's not who we have. We have people that care about you or at least seem like it who won't rip you off. So that's a service we offer. Um, we call it Merge Certified Taxi Driver. <laughs> so y'all can see the street. That's what I'm trying to show you with this walk. While I tell you about the membership, I'm trying to show you what we have here. All of this all of this is coming and then when i get to this area up here you're gonna see what i mean okay i'm reading off this thing guys so we'll take you to your hotel whatever we decide to book again we take your budget into account we book something for you you give us uh okay wait guys one second hold on now the screen done went black on me Yeah, so once we take you to your place, we're going to come for you in the morning or whenever we arrange for us to come pick you up. When we pick you up, you better believe 
that we're going to the Merge Community Center that y'all just saw me walk away from 13 minutes ago. <laughs> so all the way over there. These are nice too. We have something way over there. That's where our place is. But we've only been walking for 13 minutes. So you see how much is in that 13 minute space. Next, after we pick you up and take you to the center. One second, let me jump over the mud. Okay. Give y'all a good view. After we take you to the center, we'll be determining the activities you're going to be doing. So if you want to do language classes, we'll schedule that for you. Because a lot of people, believe it or not, they come over here and they have nothing to do. The kids are bored, they're bored, the old people are bored, the elders are bored. Everybody's bored because they don't know what to do. And there's not a whole lot to do sometimes in Tanzania unless you know people or you have a group connection or something like that. Well, guess what? We are that group connection. And so what you're gonna find is that Merge will give you activities that are in line with your interests and will connect you to things so that you don't have the issue of not having anything to do when you get over here. Okay. If you have a merge membership and you've gone through this process, you've included these services in your merge membership, once we take you to the center, you're gonna get your own merge membership card. The one you guys saw me holding, you get a merge membership card. So y'all know I put effort into these, right? That's why it took so long. I've been putting effort into everything you guys are about to see and I haven't even showed you half of it. So there's a lot of effort that went into this. And so that's that's where we're at right now, y'all. We got stuff over here, houses over there. It's a pretty nice area. Ooh, let me cross the street before I get told off by this police officer for filming. <laughs> and so let me read the rest of this, y'all. Begin your culture. Yeah, some people want to practice culture. Some people want to practice language. But once you get your merge membership card, you basically start whatever it is you want to do. And the center will be open for you. Trying to understand a disconnect which made a number of people flee uh, out of Tanzania. I come to understand that um, there were no facilities which were put to make Africans in Tanzania and African Americans to understand each other. And there were no institution which was put. And you realize that it is in Tanzania and Gambia where we had a number of African Americans trying to complain about them. But I'm happy that Tanzania, African Americans in Tanzania, especially the ones who decided that they want to see this problem as a sorry, as an opportunity to welcome back African Americans to their motherland. Now, what's the advantage of this? This has a number of advantages because one, I believe that there was a problem with cultural adaptation that African Americans, uh, black Americans who are coming to the diaspora, who are coming to Africa, who are coming to Tanzania, never understood uh, the cultural diversity which was in Tanzania. And now with this, they have last with different stakeholders, especially locals in Tanzania, to help them understand the culture which is happening in Tanzanian cult, uh, country. Number two, it will help avoid these disconnects which are happening in the country. And number three, there's a free orientation um, which is adaptable to you. You'll be placed in a place where you have an African-American community which is not isolating other uh, locals, but it's to, it's to show you that you are put together in a given compound so that you can help each other um, thrive, you can help each other understand the culture. And also you can see even the locals are just somewhere close there, it means that they are not secluding um, the locals. Also helps them try to understand everything which is happening in those places. And I could give my recommendation as a Kenyan, this is a step up that um, these African Americans tried to um, come up with these solutions to help our brothers and sisters because it wasn't a good picture that African Americans left Tanzania because of these reasons you know um, 
there are things to do with uh, passport things, there are things to do with adaptation in Tanzania, there are things to do with um, Swahili language, there are things to do with uh, Tanzanian culture. But now they are bringing these things to you at your comfort. So it's you to take the classes, it's you to find ways into uh, orient to understand the locals because they are trying to uh, give you the solutions to you. And I believe that it is important for everyone who is wa uh, who wants to come to Africa because I believe that it is important. It is important. It is so 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 important for everybody for everyone who wants to come to Tanzania and so with that being said I don't know if you ever change your mind and I'm also seeing uh, different countries we have a group of people in Ghana who are also doing this we have a group of people in Kenya they call saying we have different groups different people coming up with solution coming up with ways for the adaptation of African Americans who are or black americans who wants to come to africa black people in america who are coming to their motherland so uh, this being said it means that uh, in tanzania we have an institution which is placed for the black americans or african americans or black people in america who wants to come to um, africa uh, number two we have tanzania which is also doing the same we have a group of uh, also a group in nigeria which is also doing the same we have also a group in Kenya, it's called Transverse Culture. If you get time, go and check their website. Though um, I was met by a couple of uh, black Americans or African Americans or blacks in America who wants to come to Africa or blacks in the diaspora who wants to come to Africa. They asked me if I, their contacts. And so I tried reaching uh, the group, but they never responded to me. So I don't know how they communicate, I can't say. But so far so good, I saw them trying to do some orientations to african-americans who are coming back to africa and it is a good thing that uh, people are talking about this in tanzania because Tanz uh, tanzania was becoming a laughing stock uh, in africa which is not good but i'm happy we have african-americans who decided that they are going to stand up they are going to provide these facilities to african americans or black americans who are coming back to africa so uh, this is an important issue for we to integrate and if there is any person ever wanted to come back to tanzania or was discouraged coming back to tanzania i think it's this is the best time now to give it a trial and go talk to african march um to, uh, through their website i think it's africanmarch.com where you can find their website you can talk to them you can give them your budget and the things the services that they can offer to you I believe that this is important and this message will help you because in the past they have always been a disconnect and there's also security I forgot to say that there's also security which will be provided and with time with time especially as brother market said if you're planning to uh, stay for a long time in Tanzania it's a good start for you it's uh, it provides for you for a platform to get to know uh, Africans in Tanzania in general so with that being said, I hope that this message helps you, I hope that this message, this message reaches you wherever you are. So don't give up on Tanzania. Please come back to Africa, come back to Tanzania. We Africans, we still love you. And as, as I always say, we, have, we are having a couple of challenges which are facing us, especially the things which are happening in the Gambia. You know, it's a sad thing. So we also need people who can go and facilitate and put these institutions in these places to help us uh, help our brothers and sisters to adapt here in Africa. So I hope this message helps a person. Until then, peace, love and harmony. Salute.